um, board meeting, um, instructions on having public comment during meeting. At points in the meeting, when the meeting chair requests public comment, members of the public shall indicate their desire to speak. All public comments shall be addressed to the board of directors in limited to three minutes per speaker. The board of directors may choose to respond to a comment or request staff respond to the conclusion of the public comment period. Yes, thanks for that. Um, so actually, uh, I uh, as with this process, I felt like my presence, the CSD for years and years and years has just been ever the general manager. Uh, and uh, I see so little outreach beyond you guys yourselves and the staff. Um, um, you know, uh, it just that we have such a golden opportunity, and so we have a lot of funding for the amount of shed, uh, Bill Hansel shed that doesn't even fit all of our vehicles. We've got a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, there. We got a plastic one. We got a, one that Laura has painted up like a, a called the Godfather. And there's a printing plant. Uh, we, we lack vision in this community, and that's has some guts. The future is is all. More livable, more beautiful. You know, why are you here? Just to spend an hour? Well, that sounds good. I don't know. I'm just. And my time is up, so you don't have to listen to me anymore. You can just. yourselves. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you I tried to again because a detailed staff. We're designing on the this project done. Uh, the great work before uh, the one board uh, kicks out. Uh, a lot of people had some hesitation. Kind of over these two groups did bid. Uh, well, I wish we would have more. Please, uh, one of the bids did come um, uh, within a uh, interview. Uh, in fact, is actually. Yeah, I think our final obligation for FEMA. That's not going to happen today or tomorrow. There's, it's going through that process. That they won't fund it. That said, it's a project that needs to get done. Or not, it's within the budget that we thought it was going to hope that it would fall in. And so, right now, you know, the three things options have is nothing at this time. Assuming that that is something that happens tonight with a little bitter, I think we can have the contract finalized by the end of the week. The only to finish up uh, on their permitting, we've got all the other permits in place. We just need the county basically to stamp. They just shot back a couple. A little bit to make sure that they understand that there's a time urgency uh, and being this project done is critical. My recommendation at this point is to accept both the base bid and receive by Westward Builders and authorize the district manager to bid in executing a contract for the work and get the work started. Is it possible? Yeah, I think it's possible. County just sucks. And it just they drag every step. Now, in DBW stands, uh, I feel a lot better about that. Um, that we're just waiting for it to get to the next point. Then we have this point. So I'm remaining hopeful. That we get this wrapped up. Hopefully, I can speak on that too. Uh, the appropriate sense of urgency by the appropriate people at this point in time. Do, do we expect that this project will end up costing, or what, what's going to be the final number? Uh, I don't know. 
I'd be surprised by some levels of change. Absolutely not. You know, unless you start. Is phenomenal. So, especially on the hydrology work that we've done, and I'll shoot that. You know, he's just, he's the best he's engineering work on the uh, geotech work for the wall. I, I remain hopeful, I remain optimistic. I will say, if I communicate, communicate with them, the you know, cost of product, here's why, you know, how it will increase this. Uh, and this just needs to get done before we not wait for too long, because that may take. So both FEMA's recommendation is yeah. uh, I, I, I have tomorrow, let's just say number so that you can start working on that, what they call it, the project on the feed side. So. I, I guess I have one more question. Uh, can you from, from uh, In total, yeah, uh, it's actually uh, documents okay. themselves that we put out. Okay. transporting water from one part of the dam to where the creek runs again. Uh, if we get a lot of rain, for 15th is the worst case scenario, it's pretty rare. And then from that point, it'll be a time based on how the weather goes. So the contractor, we feel comfortable with. So they can do something. No, right now, now it's, you know, think about working from the January of But it will be what the original problem. Sure, you have to pull closes. Very kind of you're having any disruptions there either. No matter how much we do or get, uh, and all that sort of thing. So, yeah. But the wool board. I have a question. Should FEMA not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right now, um, 
or the fiscal year that just ended, which isn't this study. Remember, these studies, uh, CalPERS actually announced a 5.8%. Uh, their target is 6.8, they got 5.8, so it's still kind of going to continue to increase a little bit next year. Uh, anything that's not. Uh, Plan uh, is really kind of what pushes it in ways to about 80% overall total pension debt. Uh, and again, that just means our employer contribution. Both the normal percentage, which is what we pay, uh, also those percentages go up uh, for all plans, as well as uh, uh, But kind of looking at this, uh, how, how or should or uh, can we start to address something that we haven't already talked about? Uh, one, let's get to 93% of that because that's a large chunk of money. Uh, Next calendar year, we'll have the audit for the fiscal year, so that'll let us know what we're looking at that budget. Uh, assuming, again, FEMA comes through on funding, we're still about to be as we are in decent cash. It would be a bad idea to start talking to some financial experts. Uh, to match away this uh, in conjunction with our OPEB uh, help and, and that would provide a greater Make more sense to put more into or meet the full uh, uh, actuarial recommended that each year. Be putting that in that trust, or does it make more sense to? Um, I have my thoughts, but I'm not an expert in the matter. I do know that it's like a richer scale in terms of where you are. Uh, the L is possible to rise. Our employment levels are pretty. Deep. So uh, I'm sure I did not do a great just run down there, but those were kind of some of the highlights I, I wanted to out that. You know, even though we have reduced full time staff, even Reduced over uh, you know, since he's kind of irrational. Uh, will be in the future paper. And just also budgeted more than six for what we need. We are we have the money to pay for if we don't have to cover the loans. Oh, yeah. No, we have to. Even yeah. if we have to pay FEMA. Okay, so that's the 739 that we have more than that. We have a 770, I think, is something um, as money set aside to pay this down. So, well, you have to pay annual. So, every year you have to pay what is known as the annual required contribution solely on what your unfunded liability level is at. You can pay it with one lump sum payment in the last probably five years at least now. We've been paying it once lump sum payment without having to pay interest on it by doing so. Uh, And is this 769000 what we owe? That's all. Or is that an analysis of what we should pay? That is an analysis we will owe based on 2021 numbers. The only numbers we saw set out of those numbers are the UAL contribution because they uh, the big lump sum pay. So, <laughs> my question is, how much did we pay? <laughs> and so next July, mm -hmm. we are expected to and just to be clear, Jeff provided. He's just summing this up for us. So you can a copy of what Eric provided. There's a link. But I just. Well, they totally could be. It's a forecast. Right, but what they do is they kind of take a mix of that. Right. 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 It's, it's page six. Okay. It's page six. It's a laser year 2025. Okay. Uh, yeah, but, like, some of this is looking at the projections for us, the, uh, the normal contributions. So, did you want to so then the pension? This still doesn't answer the question that I'm asking, which is what, exactly? what is that lump sum payment? In, no, no the, these including all the reports on websites. I mean, that's the total, but that's not what we're I guess I, I see what you're asking. Right, yeah, and the only thing that I'm going to blab on more about is um, 
um, um, what's against the government. Something needs to be done. And um, while I look at the budget to not do things like school, I do feel like we do need to be responsible and try to. And our people deserve. continuing to decline, yeah, right? And like at what point are we in a place kind of in, like an insurmountable and are we going to get to that place? You know, right. Yeah, right? And so if that's the case, what are, what are our options? Well, I don't think any poison currently now. There's a possibility that our fire department, our fire department, they would take on those costs, and that's our costs in terms of that. But like up until the point of which was Unless they agree to take on paper tests like this. So I didn't say that quite correct. No, you did. Let's say, no, 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 cut it. Okay. Yeah, no, you said, got you got to give me a lot of sense. I'm going to be confident. I'm going to be confident. I'm going to be confident. It makes sense. Um, but I guess it's just, I guess I'm going to be wondering why is there a critical mass decision that needs to be made? I don't know. It's kind of. Well, to respond to you, then. Well, already putting into the OPEP trust, you know, bring that overall. You know, just because of what the actuary wants, 
policy yeah. okay. So that, that we can afford X amount. Where's the best place to put it? Is it just putting 300,000 in? So if you do that, then your open liability stops running. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions? Not that this is important, but this is the many questions, but it's not for this time. Mm -hmm. Well, but to your point, I just looked, I know, I was online, I just pulled them up. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ok
for a later on. I think I think people are, saying, and then we'll certainly put the word out. It won't be closed for a super. Okay. Have we been missing? Uh, no, the slide. Uh, okay. Thank you for all your information today. <laughs> um, we are on to your favorite to give us your report. They were saying last month I went to visit. Right after I left, they had a fire in West Salona, and the embers blew right across the country. Um, then they had a lake, took out part of Highway 97, the same. <laughs> and the, the smoke is just a visit from the fire down there. So not last month for that reason, but I have a great um, I'm returning, I got some into vegetation management with, uh, with Emory and Wiz, but uh, uh, Fire, uh, the Metro C money that we have for the more information from executive director. Anytime we get external money, we're already spending that, that's a great thing. Um, there are also uh, three big projects that were within just recently. There was Conversation uh, and stakeholders. Uh, this vicinity in this area. Um, a lot of historical perspective and knowledge about fire and or vegetation. Um, meet at Ridgewood Lane, most people Ridgewood Drive. Find some education about that big project that's coming from the San Antonio area because when we see the other one, um, showed up and took the tour that day. Had some great questions and my partner, um, and only a few other small guys. I feel like it was my place to share. I saw it coming together here in four years, so I'm not going to read it now. But the other things that um, the insurance, Pascal Garcetti, has been actually performing one of our partners doing some some data. I'll be counting, excuse me, rain counting, and specifically within the see industry's decisions. Specific blocks that insurance companies on weight risk. And so, given that his information, his research, this stand the reason that um, one of the insurance companies is um, um, favorable to insure an uh, individual he landed on it. So, I've been um, But it's kind of, of course, you know, outlining the mapping area. Um, the concert with some of the other information that the um, MWPA, state legislators, Cal Fire Chief. State legislators, um, there's a conference, I'll bring that back in the future. Fort Fell, um, on the west the beach, all these areas in between for the various five zones or so. Steadily being reduced with vegetation and fire risk. Um, treating uh, us favorably here, and as a result, there's just a, a couple of the insurance institute of business and home safety, IBHS. I want to demonstrate how they prepare to think that they've done, they should qualify them to be able to maintain their insurance and not be um, Still, you know, we're seeing different insurance companies depending on where they're landing on this. And the exit is seen, and another follows right behind it. But there's also some um, other United policyholders that are doing work to it that they're spared us in the insurance. And so, when you see movement coming from different angles, there's got to be a solution at some point. Right individuals and the right mix of individuals, interest and or expertise, trying to reach state legislators now to know what's going on, but we're going to learn more as we move on. So more hope on the horizon for that, but for right now. Okay. I get it. Taxes. 